with all the inflation that's happening a lot of people are finding it difficult with the bills you know because of their bills are going up and uh, they're finding it difficult with the recession with the inflation wherever you want to call it so let's just example give you the electric gas water council tax of how much it is in turkey so here in south turkey uh, we're paying 15 pound council tax per year so that's like that's like less than one pound fifty that's like one pound a month basically how much are you paying council tax from what i know in england uh we pay about 150 to about 250 pound per month that's literally more than a hundred times more you know so i'm talking you know 15 pounds a year council tax now let's talk about electric gas and water so i installed my gas because uh, you get these cylinders right so I installed my gas cylinder, I bought it last year I believe in like September or something and it's still going and we bought it for about £25 or £30 uh, so you do the maths on that one. Uh, water, um, water bills is about 5 to £10 a month, uh, electric is about 5 to even up to £50 a month sometimes. I think the most I've ever had was I believe about £55 and that was in one of the summer months. Uh, where we used a lot of air conditioner. Well, I didn't use it. Someone was staying there and they used uh, a lot of air conditioner. Thing. So you could literally live in in South Turkey, yeah, which is amazingly beautiful, amazing weather. It's now, what, 17th of January. Yeah, the winter still hasn't, for some reason, hit properly. And uh, the weather's really beautiful still. The summers are really nice. Uh, and the summers are too hot, but the winters are extremely beautiful and extremely mild. Uh, and uh, look, it's, it's like uh, what is it, 17 degrees, I believe, today. So this is what I'm saying. You can get away from a lot of high cost of gas, uh, wherever you use to heat your house in, in the Western countries or wherever you're from. And here you can save money. You don't have to use anything, you know. And the sun is out and it's beautiful. And um, at the same time, you're saving money by staying here. Do you understand? This is and, you, and not to forget the better lifestyle, the better food, the better fresher fruit and veg. And then when you talk about fruit and veg, yeah, it's expensive in England. You know, when it comes to tomatoes and stuff like that, we have to save money and use tins because you can't fresh tomatoes to make a curry or something just a waste. I mean, you feel like it's too expensive. A curry becomes too expensive. So here you get fresh tomatoes for the same price you would pay for a tin over there. Do you get it? Here, I think the fresh tomatoes is about uh, 60 pence per kilo. Per kilo, yeah, not 500 grams or 250 grams. Strawberries, same price, uh, you know, in the in the season. Everything in the season is extremely cheap. Watermelons, I remember the time where watermelons were more cheaper than actually drinking water. <laughs> that is not an exaggeration, yeah. And it was like uh, one and a half, one lira per kilo for watermelon. That's crazy. Of course, now it's probably like maybe much more, probably like seven lira or something, but it's still seriously cheap. In England, it's definitely six, seven times more expensive. Um, recently, I made a video, it's on the... Uh, on the channel uh, where we got this dragon fruit yeah and uh, apparently that's got very good health benefits and I got like five of them for a pound yeah in England I remember someone was saying it's like two pound for one or three pound for one if you can find that fruit which is very difficult so many many things in terms of fruit and veg you can literally go to the farmers market and see uh, and talk to the farmer and say and find out where his farm is you can literally know where it's been grown and it comes directly from the farm and the farmers then sell it to the people and we have a farmer's market every week in our area. In every little area of Antalya, they have the farmer's market. So it's amazing, you know, how much fresh fruit and how much fresh veg. And right now, the oranges are, for example, it's the orange season still going on in the winter, is uh, 10 lira per kilo. That's about, what is that, like a 25, 30 pence? Less than that. It's about 25, 20, 20 to 25 pence a, a kilo. Yeah, get that, get that right. So... You know, when it comes to these things, you understand that, you know, living here is very, very cheap. As long as you, you know, the vegetables are really, really cheap. I mean, aubergine, for example. I remember aubergine is about 80 pence, or maybe it's a pound now, I don't know, in England. Yeah. Uh, of course, I'm talking about little prices, Aldi prices. If you go to, like, Sainsbury's, somebody's definitely like a pound. But over here, per kilo, it's probably, like, 40 pence. And aubergine doesn't weigh a lot. So you can get, like, so many aubergines for it. <laughs> I'm not saying you like aubergines, but I'm just saying what I'm saying. So, you know, these kind of things, everything, vegetables, spinach, whatever, all these things are extremely cheap. So you can live a really nice, healthy lifestyle with the sun, with the vitamin D. Uh, it saved you a lot of time and hassle going to the hospitals and stuff. 
right? Because you'll be living a good life. But at the same time, you're saving money, you know. And another good thing about Turkey is that because the council tax is low, one of the biggest issues about buying property in Europe or uh, England or stuff like that is a council tax. Whether you're there or not, you still have to pay it. And it's berserk. The price you are paying for council tax is how much you can pay for rent again. It's ridiculous. So this is what it is. This is one of the reasons, one of the many million reasons for you to want to purchase a property in Turkey and want to live here as a holiday home, as an investment, as a rental income, short term, long term, and even as a backup, you know, it's good for you to have it. Uh, because while the country is still open, so I'm not trying to warn people, but the warning is that, you know, things are changing, laws are changing, people don't want uh, to sell properties to foreigners because foreigners then inflate the prices and uh, you know the locals are kind of tired because there's a huge percentage of foreigners now in Antalya and in Istanbul in many cities if anybody's interested in purchasing this is a good time as soon as you can to purchase while things are still open to foreigners to buy you know uh, slowly slowly they're making more and more restrictions for example citizenship land used to be eligible for citizenship for four hundred thousand dollars now you can't buy land and get citizenship you have to buy an apartment or a house yeah so they're making it more and more difficult so Times are going to get more tougher, more difficult for you to take money out of your countries. We're getting into a digital world where people don't want you to have cash. So again, these cashless societies will make it very difficult. And if, again, if you want to save tax, then you come to countries like Turkey where you can do wink wink all sorts. So anyway, anybody interested in investing in Turkey, do come as soon as possible because time is limited. And in the winter months, you get a bit more cheaper, 5-10% cheaper. Uh, and in the summer months, things get inflated because of... Uh, many foreigners come in you know and the demand goes up so and especially right now the interest rates are high so many many people are not buying so you've got an opportunity to get things cheaper right now anyway that's the update of turkey and uh, cost of living L many people as i said they uh, come to turkey and they spend you know just the winter months the whole six months of the winter that is in england they just come spend it here and they save a lot of money they live a nice life and uh yeah, I mean, look, it's an it's a overall easy access coming and going. It's only like four hours away and direct flights in uh, are going every single day. Multiple flights, for example, to London and uh, they're really, really cheap. I mean, you can literally get flights one way for 15, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, you know, easily. I paid 15 pound in November. You know, once I actually paid 10 pound, 9.99, easy dip, <laughs> you know. So, uh, I mean, just check on Skyscanner, isn't it? So anyway, th these are the big advantages of being in a country like Turkey. And of course, we know the, the standards are European standards, so it's very good quality. The people are nice, it's easy going. You know, you don't have much problems of getting food poisoning or other issues. And uh, the healthcare is much better. Their schooling is good. A lot of things. Just, I mean, I've talked about this before. I don't know why I keep nagging on about the same thing. But anyway, so, you know, cost of living crisis is not as effective to us if you come with your pounds and you come with your dollars and your euros to a country like this. Uh, we can live literally like kings and that remains till this day I stand by that point that you could survive here if you buy a property you could survive here for even 300 pound a month 400 pound a month you know and if you want to live like a king maybe 600 pound a month you know so I still stand by that figure and uh, if anybody still wants to live in this kind of lifestyle beautiful lifestyle you can contact me uh, email me on faceweezy at gmail.com the email will be below and check out the rest of the channel and you can join our uh, and once you email me then I'll send, send me your whatsapp number i'll send you the telegram groups links you can join and uh inshallah some see some of the community here yeah.